Father, may you speak through me. May they hear you through me. In the name of Jesus. Yo, what's good? It's King Salu back with another video today. Obviously different from my regular vlogs, and I'm sorry I missed a day yesterday. I've been going through a lot of like changes on just all creative fronts, and just came to a bunch of realizations. And I just wanted to, you know, start something different, you feel me? And this is a video that I wanted to make for a while now. Um, obviously, you can tell by the title, 10 Truths About a, oh, well, 10 Truths About Being a 21-Year-Old Content Creator that I've learned, essentially, because I can't go off of everyone's experiences, and this is just stuff that I picked up on the way, or just things that I found out and want to share with you guys, to be honest. So this is essentially for anyone that wants to become one, or is thinking about it, you feel me? If you don't know me, I'm obviously a 21-year-old content creator, student, student, model, and yeah, that's what I do and I'm here to just show and share my life experiences and all the stuff I learned on the way. With all that being said, let's jump straight to it, you feel me? Number one, nothing is certain but you. In this whole realm, in this whole industry, what I've learned like constantly is that there's no real certainty. Like unless you have a contract, even that can be like uncertain at times, but there's no real certainty in terms of work, in terms of how things will do, in terms of just people. The only certainty there is, is you, because you know who you are and if that changes, that means you're not certain with yourself. Um, to go in deeply, there'll be times where you will have a bunch of opportunities fall into your lap and it's like, yo, I'm doing so much. Either it's overwhelming or it's just like, yo, this is lit, like it's a vibe. Then there could be times where nothing's in your lap. Like you might have a drought for like a month or maybe two. And it makes you feel like, yo, like am I falling off? Or like, what's going on? What's up with the bread, you feel me? It'll get you in your head a bit. So that's something I had to realize and I talked to my older homies as well, like Ron, Carlos, Dio. They are homies that I, they've been doing this longer with, longer than me and I'll come to them with my concerns and they'll be like, yeah, bro, this is, this is regular. There will be times where things don't rock out as you want them to, especially with, in terms of like results of what your content does. You cannot choose how your work is like gonna come out or you can't choose how the algorithm picks it up. You can do the best you can in terms of creating your content, but at the same time, that's all you can really do. That's all you have control over. Cause after that, you don't have control over Instagram's algorithm or TikToks or YouTube's or whatever you're posting on. You just have to really just hope it does well and continue on and not think too much of it. And that's something I'm still working on myself, but it's it's not easy to do. But yeah, uncertainty is certain. Yeah, I think that's a bar. Uncertainty is certain in this whole realm, but all you really can do is stay true to self and continue pushing and no matter what your things do or no matter what comes your way or the situation you're in, continue being you. Number two, the brands are not your friends. If you're new to content creation or just everything that goes on with this, you are able to essentially make money by either monetizing yourself by products or affiliate codes or whatever, or you can make money by the brands that you work with. Essentially like recently I worked with eBay. If you guys don't know what eBay is, it's a platform where you can buy a bunch of stuff use or new whatever i work with that brand they pay me money to make content for them and i post on my platform so that's how i get paid you may start off with a brand and you think that oh these guys are really cool these guys are always looking out for me and paying me whatever ah, ah. but there's always a point where you're like wait a minute like they're not really looking out for me and they just want their own bread like they just doing their own thing. Why would they do that to me? Because they're a corporation. They're not your mans. They're not the ones that owe you whatever. They don't owe you no loyalty because at the end of the day, this is a transaction. Even if you have someone cool in the corporation that you're actually friends with, at the end of the day, business is business. And crossing that line thinking that, oh, they got me because we're friends like that, that won't always work because at the end of the day, they can easily snip you like anything. You're expendable because of how... I guess vast and saturated this whole content creation industry or influencer industry is, to be very honest with you. And I'm not saying that you won't come across very genuine people, very great people, because you will. But at the same time, just remember, business is business. Like, don't get caught up in, oh, they got my back forever. That's not always true, you get me? There might be people that will though, but don't just bank on it all the time. You feel me? Discernment is key in this whole industry. Number three, confidence is everything. And people ask me all the time, how did I get confident enough to be able to speak in front of cameras and just talk to people? Honestly, I don't really know. I think it was, it's repetition. I know oh it, let me not say I don't really know. It's repetition, to be very honest with you. And just knowing who you are and being confident in who you are. You feel me? The self-esteem is key. Because at one point, 
I was really that I really just thought to myself, I'm always that guy. Like, you feel me? You can't tell me nothing. But then there was a point where I got humbled because the people around me were really mean to me, but we were kids, so I can't really blame it. But I would get too self-conscious and not think anything of myself because of that. But over time, I'm building that back up to the point of I know who I am. I know I'm like that. So why would I let another person tell me who I am? And I can come onto this camera and tell you guys the same thing because I know who I am. And I'm gonna be unapologetic about it because at the end of the day, I'm not doing any harm for anyone to even have any judgment against me. If people don't like me, they don't like me. That's all that is, you feel me? Someone's gonna like me. There's a lot of people that do, so that, you feel me? Like, I think it just starts with you at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if you have one person or 100 million in front of you. If you know who you are and know what you're saying and you have confidence in it, that's where it goes, you feel me? Let's say you make the same videos over a span of like six weeks and none of them do well to the last one. But if you're confident in every single video, it don't matter. The results you know the amount of work that you put into it and you know that no matter what anyone says you know it's great that's all it is to be very honest with you oh i'm liking the eye contact today i'm not looking over here over there i'm really with y'all today you feel me thank god number four yo you get a lot of freedom bro being a content creator made me realize like uh what's it called my homie ron be like ah we're outside with regular people today <laughs> Not no no bashing to him because like we do things at times where most people will be at work or school and it's just like dag why are things so empty oh school's not out or work's not out I realized that I can just go anywhere and do anything at any time well now I got school I can't really do that but that's the type of freedom I have because I'm thank God like I'm really grateful that I'm able to live off this so. I'm not constructed to like a certain schedule or have certain things to do. Yes, I have priorities in terms of like brand deliverables that need to be met on certain dates, but at the same time, I can literally do that anywhere if I wanted to. If I wanted to right now, I could go to London and just stay there for like a month if school wasn't a thing. But I probably could tell my teachers that I have to go like on a business trip to London and they probably buy that. Like to be very honest with you, that freedom can be good and bad though, because then you have the opportunity to make bad decisions and go places that you don't need to be going or not even don't need to be going, but like just because other people are doing it, you just slide and, and it just wastes your time and wastes your energy. So discernment is key in terms of that. Um, I know that at first I would just not want to really miss out. That whole FOMO thing is real, bro. Like you don't wanna miss out on certain brand events or certain opportunities or just having fun with people. But at the same time, you could be using that time to better yourself or just get closer to your goals in, in your situation, you feel me? Because every time you step out, you're probably gonna spend money, especially in this world, unless it's like brand comped and comp mean compensated or you just got connections so you don't gotta pay that much money, you feel me? Number five, community is everything. Oh my gosh, when I tell you I have been blessed, like God really, listen, there's a verse that says, we may make our plans, but God determines our, or the Lord determines your steps. And that's a fact because I just plan like, right, I'm gonna keep making content, but the people that came along the way, it was like everything was perfect, to be honest, from the people, from the first person I met being Lewis in the modeling industry, or like, well, DTLR, and him introducing me to other people that are in this creative business, and that, going into a whole like network of just amazing influencers, amazing creators, amazing producers, managers. Like I'm telling you that community is everything because the people you know is really who will get you in a certain places, like very honest with you. And they are the same people. They are the same people that will get you these opportunities. When your name gets dropped in certain rooms, that's when you get those opportunities. And if you don't know the people that can name the well, if you don't know the people that can name your name in those rooms, then you're not really going to go nowhere unless you just get found. Community is what I've realized. I don't know. It sets up your whole life. The people like, you know, the, the regular saying, bad company corrupts good character. You feel me? So it doesn't matter if you're around, if you know yourself that you're a good person, but you're constantly around bad people or people that aren't making the best decisions, you're not going to do well. And it's the opposite. You feel me? The same way. If you're around good people and... You got good character or bad character. You're gonna end up being a good person or have this good energy around you and that will lead to good things, you feel me? And I feel like that's exactly what happens. Relationships are the basis of our life. Like, the basis. Relationships are the basis of our life. 
I hope y'all get that. Like every relationship you have is what can help you or break you down at the end of the day. Whether it's your teachers, whether it's your friends, whether it's your parents, like your relationships are can make or break you at the end of the day. And I realized that because every relationship I made so far and I'm so thankful for has helped me in a certain way, whether it's like monetary, whether it's emotionally, spiritually, like the people I've met, I'm so thankful for, like all the homies that y'all see and even the homies that y'all don't see, a lot of people have helped me get to where I am today because they've helped me keep my head on straight. They helped me in the times where I've been in low ruts. They helped me when I was moving bad in my faith. So I'm real thankful for that and that's important in every aspect, it doesn't matter just about being a content creator, but at the same time, community is everything. Number six, burnout is real. Oh my goober. Like when I tell you, bro, like there were multiple times where I would just be so dead. Like you could see it in my face that I'm just like, people would be like, bro, you good? And it'd be the beginning of the day thinking like, no, you just came off from good rest. Nah, bro. But I tell you, I used to overwork myself a lot just because I didn't want to like, fall behind or whatever. I think that can also go backwards too because when you get burnout, you think that you need to rest and when you can rest, you might rest too much and then you get too comfortable. So it's it's like a balance that you do have to work on and something that I realized like, okay, when you know you're getting tired, when you know you running out of juice, calm down. But once you back, get right back to it. That's what I had to realize, you feel me? Especially now. Number, wow, number seven. Number seven, pay. It's good and bad. Like, one, I've never thought, wow, I've never thought, yo, I'm like mixing like grammar with slang right now, and I don't know if it's doing well for y'all, but I need to, you feel me? I would have never thought that I'm able to make the amount of money that I am off of what I'm doing. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when I started making content, this was like just something I just love to create. That was it. I just like sharing what I like to make and that's all I wanted to do. When I got hurt, hit with my first partnership in like 2021, end of 2021, it was with GLD. And it was like, yo, we'll pay you X, Y, and Z for a few posts. And I told my mom, I was like, what? They'll pay me money just to post pictures, mom? And it was just unreal because coming from, I used to work at Plato's Closet, Walgreens, Chick-fil-A, like you feel me? I was working regular jobs to get that much money, the amount of money that you would make in a couple months or a month. I'm just getting it off a few pictures instead of going to clock in and work. I was like, yo, what's up? You feel me? And I'm so thankful for it, bro. Like with God, if he works, he works, you feel me? That's one thing he said, don't love money, be satisfied with what you have. For the Lord said, I'll never abandon you and I'll never fail you. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hebrews 13, 5. But at the same time, it could also go bad because thankfully, like you touch, you know, you could touch like six figures in a year off this, right? You could touch a million of it for the higher end creators and stuff, right? But me being, what is it? I was like 20. I think I was 20 at the time when I started making some like real bread. You can't give a 20 year old who ain't, cause hold on, let me not say I ain't come from us. My parents did amazing. They, they raised us up well. But when it came to buying what you want, you had to buy what you want. So I ain't have the bread to just go buy whatever. But now that I started to have the bread to do that, the whole financial discernment and stuff really sucked. And it still sucks right now. I'm still struggling to do my best and God willing, I get better. But finances, like that's really huge. Like knowing how to work your money and knowing where to put it, how to spend it, like it's important, especially in this whole field. That's what I had to learn. You can run out of money quick and you can also get money fast. Like for example, I got paid like 10 racks, right? Um, and then I've paid my bills, put some money away, and now I have like, let's say like two grand in my check-ins, right? I'll be chilling, I'll be buying out, feel me pay for meals, helping people out. And then that two bands go to like 300 out of nowhere. And you're like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm good. I got savings. Then you gotta help somebody or help pay for a flight or or you have to pay for flights. And now that bread that you had in your savings, now it's in your check-ins and now you deplete it. And you're like, oh shoot. Now you're going back to living how you used to. But a couple days later, a couple weeks later, you get another 10 racks. So you're like, oh, all right, I'm good now. That whole thought process of I know it's gonna come back really will beat you in the butt. Eat you in the butt. Hold on. It will bite you in the butt, I ain't gonna lie. Like you're just spending as much as you're getting and you're never really having that chance to save bread. And 
it's really it's really hard to get out that mentality because like when you get money it's like you pay for your convenience you feel me if you don't want to wait in the line or you don't want to be uncomfortable you would pay for that stuff and it's easy to continue paying for that stuff without thinking hold up maybe i should wait but then you're like oh wait it's gonna come back but then sometimes it doesn't come back because brands they're not gonna pay on time you don't get your money on time no matter the reason like you really don't know why sometimes and then you're just out of luck sitting there broke waiting for your next check. You're just like, dag, and you kind of forget that like, oh, you have all of this, like, and why the heck are you struggling right now? Maybe because you're making bad financial decisions. And I'm talking about myself right now. But yeah, that's, that's the whole thing about that whole situation. Number eight, opportunities will fall in your lap like you wouldn't even know how, I'm not gonna lie. I'm telling you, this is a combination of number five and number one. Nothing certain, your community. When I tell you some opportunities, like one, I was with my homies in LA. We was at a, a brand event, and then out of nowhere, we ended up at a Lakers game. This is because my homie Dante, he's tapped in with a certain brand and they took us to a Lakers game. I never thought I'd be there, but that was an opportunity that literally just fell in my lap because I, know the right people and I'm friends with the right people. Like something that I would never have thought had been happening. Along with that, like working with eBay, I got a Rolex because it was a brand opportunity and I didn't even know that could happen. You feel me? My manager, a great manager, you feel me? So like there's things that you'll never think that could happen. Like GLD, they took me skydiving, bro. For free, I went skydiving and that's like something that I would have never thought I could do, but it fell into my lap. and. I can just be thankful for that stuff because I, I put myself into a position to do things like this and God, you feel me, determined my step for it to the big dog. Yeah, like there's things that you will never have planned for that will happen. Like, I don't know, there's so many things that could just happen off of this stuff and either good or bad to be very honest with you, but it's, it's really like a blessing at the end of the day. Number nine, patience is everything. When I tell you just, we can't build Rome in a day. Like, I really hope I said that right. Oh, you can't, well, we can't, yeah, we can't build Rome in a day. Like, it's something that takes a long time to get to where I guess you want to be. Like, content creating is not an easy job at the end of the day. One, you have to learn how to create, you have to learn how to edit, film, how the shots that you want, the type of videos that you want to make. You have to do all of that along with just pushing out content and growing and doing X, Y, and Z. When I tell you it's not easy, but it's something that, if it's something that you want, you will get done, but it's gonna take time. I'm telling you, like once you put that passion into something or you have that passion for something and you're able to continuously do it, you will see results. And that's at the end of the day. Someone asked me like, how do I start content creating? And don't just say, be consistent. Like tell me what I, I'm telling you, if you have a passion for something, you learn how to put it into a video format or a photo format, whatever, and you're just consistently pushing that stuff out. That's how you do it. But it takes time, patience is everything. And I'm one to talk too. I'm still struggling with that. Cause it's like, yo, why aren't things working? Like you really want stuff to just work because you know your stuff isn't bad or you know that like people would like it, but it's not getting what you want. It doesn't get the reach that you want. It's just, you gotta be patient. Like at one day, it'll just pick up and out of nowhere, boom. Like you got X, Y, you feel me? So just be patient, that's all it is. Number 10, and this kind of coincides with number one, right back, full circle. Um, stay true to yourself. It is really easy, especially in this whole situation, this whole like industry or whatever, to fall into other people's laps and to, or I said laps, fall, fall into other people's lanes and try to do what they do because it's working for them. No, bro, you started this. Well, I don't know the reason why you started this, but for me, I started this because I wanted to share. I wanted to share like, my creations and now understanding that I want to share my faith as well. And I have to stick in my lane to do so. I can't try to do what other people do and expect it to work out for me. It may work out for me, but how, for how long and how passionate I really am about it, you know? That's what I had to start understanding, and that's something that you should understand before you even start, you feel me? Staying true to yourself is everything. Like going into, what is it, events, like me especially now, not picking up drinks just because it's offered. Like, I know I don't drink no more, so it's like, why would I do that, you feel me? Like it just looks bad on you. If you stay true to yourself, no matter the situation, you'll come out on top. Yeah, people might think you weird, or people might think you're not cool or whatever, but bump those people. You really think like, they have any effect over your life like let's really be honest bro like 
Staying true to yourself is everything. That's something I had to realize and something that I really push now because I struggle with that and now I know I'm straight because nobody can peer pressure me into doing otherwise, you feel me? But um, yeah, those are the 10 truths about being a content creator at 21. That's me, the content creator at 21. <laughs> but um, hopefully you guys really like took something from this. Um, any other videos, any other topics you want me to speak on, whether it's here or on my Instagram, like just let me know. I would really like love to just sit down more and just talk to you guys. Cause this was really a one take. It's just, we're in 26 minutes right now. Like, one take wonder, you feel me? Appreciate y'all. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Please be gonna like, comment, and subscribe, you feel me? Roll your 10K. Um, I'm gonna catch y'all. Peace.